I'm Julie Herman of Jaybird Quilts and Lazy Girl Designs, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to rotary cut squares from your fabric for left-handed cutters. So I have my fabric here as it came off the bolt, so it's folded wrong sides together, and here is the fold, and I'm going to keep it folded for this purpose. And the first step is to square up one edge, which I've already done. If you haven't done that yet, you'll want to go ahead and lay your fabric out and line up your ruler so that one of your lines is completely flush with the fold. That way your fabric will be straight when you cut it. If it's off like this, your fabric strip is going to be a V and you won't be able to use the part right at the fold. And we wanna have the most usability possible to get the best yield. So go ahead and line that up. If you're using a ruler like I am from Sew Tights with the Sew Tights magnetic system, it doesn't slip. If you have a regular ruler, make sure that you put your hand in a nice tripod position to hold it in place so that it doesn't slip. And when I don't have this ruler system, I like to go ahead and move my hand as I go to make sure that I am controlling my ruler, but you don't have to do it with this system as much. So there we go. We have a nice clean edge. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the fabric 180 degrees and determine what size squares I need. For the project I'm working on, I need four inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my ruler on, and this is my four inch line. I know that because it says four on the ruler, but I can also count one, two, three, four. I highly suggest you trust your ruler and not your mat when you're doing your cutting. Doesn't matter what brand mat you have, I find that rulers are more accurate than mats. Unfortunately, um, mats can shrink and change over time, but acrylic does not, so your rulers are always gonna be more accurate than your mats. So I've got my four inch mark and cut. Now I'm gonna put this fabric aside. And now to get my squares, first thing I need to do is I need to take off my selvages and I wanna just make a cut as close, but not into them because I don't wanna have them in my seam allowance. So right there, and I'm gonna line up my horizontal lines of my ruler on my strip and cut. Then I'm gonna rotate my strip around 180 degrees. And now I am just going to continue to use my four inch mark over and over again to work my way down the strip. Continue cutting as many squares as needed for the project you're working on and make sure to subscribe to the channel to check out all of my tips and tutorials.